Hello, welcome to my uh, teaching game tutorial. My name is Tan, and in this tutorial, I will show you how to create a teaching game on Java. As you can see here, this is the uh, the project I write before. So uh, I will run this uh, to show the game for you okay here you see the plus uh, slash screen and when we press to play uh, the gameplay screen uh, will show here and you can see we can uh, play the game by okay like this and change the shape and put them down okay and we can uh, pause the game or we can uh, yeah, yes that pause and and then I replay the game and yes we the made the game or we can replay the game by uh, the button here okay just very simple for this game yes okay so uh, this is the first video in this tutorial so i will show you uh, uh, something very basic so hope you enjoy it okay now we uh, let's go to uh, create a new project right on java and uh, please note that i uh, i create project on netbean id so the project i made uh, only run on uh, the netbean id so when you download my my uh, project on the link on the on the description i so be below the, the video you need to to import it to uh nebinadi please know it that okay let's continue and we uh we choose java categories and uh project java application and click next and yes here i will uh put the name here Tetris 2 uh, for the next project, yes. Okay, click finish. Alright, here we are. We have a, a class named Tetris 2 and uh, so we no longer have a we don't need to have this class so I will delete it and uh, create a new class name window game and in this class we put a, a method uh, put a method style for name for the entire point argument and here go new window game all right and we will create a, a constructor for uh, this class window game and in this window game we will uh, create a, a few uh, a variable name uh, uh, variable uh, kind of shape frame uh, and put the name in window All right uh, import the java swing shape frame for this and then we will uh, create a new instance for that variable 
a new shape frame and put the name Tetris Tetris here I will create a start final variable uh, is here a constant uh, they are constant with equal uh, 445 and hey six okay and this is the width and the hey of the J frame we will show on uh, on the, the game yes and then we will set size set the size for this frame by which we can uh, def we define it before and hey also yeah. and don't forget to uh, set the uh, set the default clouds uh, so so when when we uh, when we click uh, the uh, the exit button here, uh, the, the the program can uh, totally exit. If you are uh, if you are uh, uh, program on Java before, you you can know this. You can know uh, uh, the the thing I I said before. Okay, and put put the shape frame exit on close. Yes. Alright, and uh, we know we will set resizable to phones to make sure the uh, the game window can can change the size by uh, by this uh, something like this, okay? So and then. I will put um, I will uh, set visible to true okay and run again okay you can see here all right this is the, the the screen of the game we will code and I will put something um set located location relative to none and uh, you can see different when we when we set the location re relative to none uh, the window position will uh, appear at the center of the screen here so we we don't need to uh, no, to uh, to change the position by uh, drag it from the top the laptop corner to the, the center screen so we can save uh, many times and say many, many uh, say saving time okay then I will create a new uh, class uh, name uh, the bot. The bot is the class uh, that mm, so uh, the game plays. Uh, yeah, you can you can think about uh, the game state. So the bot is is a, a game state. It runs the game plays and run uh, game loop on that. Okay. And in this video, I will show, I will create uh, just uh, the board and uh, something uh, basic. Uh, the board is then J panel import from uh, Swin, and then I uh, override a method and. Um,
from Z component, I will write method pen component. Generate it. All right. And in this method, I will uh, uh, draw something. I will draw. Uh, Mm, draw a rec and uh, I will uh, yes, draw a rectangle by uh, 10, 10 width by uh, uh, 200 and 200 and in the window game here I will create a board yeah. and, and uh, create a new instance for that put them uh, put the port to the window alright and run it ok you can see uh, mm, yes, this is the red I uh, I draw on the on the board. The board is is the panel, and the panel. Okay, I will draw draw the the panel background so you can see. Uh, Get width, get hey. Uh, these two methods uh, give the width of the panel and the height of the panel, so you, so you can uh, fill the right uh, with the position uh, from zero and zero, and with the width and height equal uh, the size of the the panel. Okay. So before that, I will set the color uh, to uh, blue, no. and like this, black. Okay, and run it again. So you can see, you see here, uh, the background is blue is the whole side, uh, the whole. Uh, the the panel and in the panel I draw a, a, a rectangle yes so we clean it all right and uh, I will create a timer timer the name is Looper. Import the, the library timer and create a constructor for the board. And your timer in the timer, you will set a, a time for delay uh, about uh, I'll put about uh, uh, 500 millisecond, uh, it means a half of second. Uh, a second uh, equal one hundred uh, one one thousand. I'm sorry, one thousand uh, milliseconds. So uh, five hundred millisecond equal half of second. And in uh, second parameter, we will a new action listener. Alright. So and the loop looper star. So when when I call a stack method, the looper will uh, run the action listener method 
as that's the uh, action performance performance method here for every 500 seconds this is the loop for the game yes, of course I will change this uh, delay time uh, for in, in, in the next video and in this in this video I will I just show you uh, uh, some something very basic yes and the last one I will print something in uh, here maybe uh, yes. okay declare my uh, variable and every time I print I will plug after print n I will plug uh, for more units and all right right you see here every a half second it will uh, print a new uh, value of n here and print it so that's that's it uh, for this video thank you for watching and please subscribe and like the video and see you next time bye bye